All right, there's been a common problem where uh, you take your base station off and you uh, plug it into your computer for a firmware update, and after your firmware update's done, the uh, base station stop stops working and it's just a red, dim red light, uh, and then it just doesn't work. And I'm gonna help you guys fix that problem. First thing you're gonna need to do is to go to Steam and go to Steam VR, right click it, go to properties, and go to local files, and then go to browse local files. And then, uh, after you do that, you sh this should pop up. You want to go to tools, and you want to go to lighthouse, firmware, uh, lighthouse TX, archive, HTC 2.0. And then you're going to have a whole bunch of files here. And what you're going to need to do is pl uh, get your base station and do the same thing you did with the update. Uh, same thing you did to get the update. You plug your base, you get your USB and you plug that into your computer and plug that into the uh, sensor. And then you get your power cord, plug that into the wall, and uh, you hold the mode button and then you plug in your power cord and after that's done uh, something should pop up around here saying that like uh, it's plugged in and all that and then some uh, something should pop up like down here it should say DRV disabled uh, I'm not doing that because my uh, sensor is already working but uh, you want to go into that and it should say like firmware or something Wait, and then what you want to do is go into that where it says firmware, delete that file, and then this file, uh, Lighthouse Calibration Rescue, you want to copy and paste this file into the place where you deleted the uh, firm firmware. And after you do that, you want to take your power cord out, and uh, I'm pr here, wait, let me check real quick. Uh, I don't think you hold the mode button. Uh, yeah, don't hold the mode button. And, uh, yeah, CRP disabled. Alright, you don't want to hold the mode button when you're plugging it in. And then it should flash green your, uh, set, your sensor. And then what you did same after it flashes green you want to uh take it out and then uh you want to do the same thing you did uh, with the uh firmware and you want to plug the uh oh shit you want to uh take the same file this uh this file and where you put the uh, calibration rescue, where you copy and paste that, you want to delete that and put this in there too. And then you want to plug in your uh, uh, power cord. And it won't really do anything, but it is. And then you just want to X out all that, plug it back into the wall, it should be working. So, I hope that helped.